Bodybuilder Larry Wheels just posted a very dramatic video of a bodybuilder bench pressing a massive amount of weight and suffers a severe pectoralis major tear. So what exactly are we seeing when we watch that video? So we watch the, the bodybuilder um, on his way down, which we call an eccentric portion of a lift, and you see his muscle on the right side just rupture and pull inward. So that's, that's very classically what we see. We see these pec tears usually during bench press um, injuries while the bench presser is coming on their way down or what we call the eccentric phase or basically during a negative of, of a, a bench press exercise. So we see a full thickness rupture of that pectoralis tendon. It, it retracts into the, uh, into the chest, okay? From an anatomy, anatomy perspective, there's two different heads of the pectoralis major tendon. There's a portion that comes off the collarbone or clavicular head, and then there's a portion that comes off the sternum or sternal head. And typically, they come and they attach to the humerus here just a little bit lateral or outside to the bicep tendon, okay? And what we see typically when we get in surgery is it's that sternal head that usually has had the rupture off of the bone. So, you know, I saw that Larry Wheels has set up a GoFundMe. So what they're likely trying to do is set up uh, for him to get an operation where he can get that surgically repaired. And what we do is as orthopedic surgeons, we make an incision, we go in and we find that torn, usually it's just a torn sternal head. We, we grab it and we reattach it back to the bone where it got ruptured. So that's exactly, we see it in motion. It's very rare to capture it live like that. It's very dramatic. So that's what we're seeing when we see that rupture. It retracts inward, most likely that sternal head of the pectoralis major tendon. Orthopedic surgeons most likely are gonna go in, find that tendon and reattach it back down to the bone. Uh, what we usually do is we make a couple of drill holes where it reattaches and we'll fix it by flipping a button on the inside cortex of the bone. What I'll do is I'll uh, attach a link to a, I have a YouTube video where I do this exact technique, a full, a, uh, full thickness pectoralis major tendon tear repair. So I'll attach that link so you can see exactly how we fix that in surgery. All the best to the bodybuilder and we'll see you guys next time.